What's up guys? So um, in South Africa where I live everything is in kilograms and not in pounds like Europe or America. So a lot of the things I look at on the internet or in pounds I'm talking about the weight here by the way um, and then it's sort of confusing for me because I need to know what it is in kilograms so I made this application that converts things from pounds to kilograms just show you how it works top in 500 pounds and then we get the the same what that value would be in kilograms so today we're going to build this application. I hope you enjoy it and let's go ahead with it. Okay guys, go to File, New Project, select Windows Forms application, change the name. I'm going to call it Found Calculator. Just say okay. Okay, and then there's your form. Okay, we're gonna need three buttons on the form, so go to your toolbox on the side here, double click on the button three times, and then we have our three buttons. Okay, then I'm gonna need numeric up down tools, two of them, so double click twice on that them over here and then I'm going to need three labels so double click on label three times put label three there label one over here let's move this down a bit move this down a bit okay put label two over there I'll click on button one hold in shift click on button two and stretch them out okay and next we're gonna rename all of these tools Okay guys, so now we're going to just rename everything. So first of all, click on label 1. Go to your properties window here at the bottom left corner here. <coughs> I mean right corner. Um, change the text to 2 pounds. And then click on label 2. Change the text to kilograms. Click on label 3. Label 3 is going to display our answer for us, so click on Label 3 text, change the name to Answer. And also on Label 3, make sure you've got it selected. In the Properties window, go up until you find Font. Click on it, on the three little dots button, click on that. Change the font size to 18 and change it to bold, say OK OK, see into that a little bit OK, button 1, we're going to change the name um, the text, I mean, go to text, change the text to convert to kilograms and on button 2, change the text to Convert to pounds, and then on button three, this is going to be our reset button to clear all the information on the form. So just type in reset, and then we can just position this a little bit there, a little bit better. I mean, um, yeah. While well, you guys can work on this at home and make it look the way you want it. On the form, just click on the form as well. Forgot to do this under text. Change the name of the form to um, whatever you want, basically. I'll call it Pound Calculator. And that's it. Okay, so now we're going to go to the code and actually write the code to make this thing work. Okay, guys, so double click on your first button and then type the code as follows we're going to first declare a variable of type double call it pound and then I'm going 
cost the numeric up down tool to the double. Call the value. And then declare another variable. Call answer. And it's going to be the whatever they put in the pound numeric up down to times by zero point four five three five nine two. That's basically the conversion from a a pound to a kilogram. Put a semicolon and then we're going to put the answer, make the answer display in label 3. Label 3 dot text equals the variable answer. And you want to convert that to string. And then just concatenate. Sorry, sorry about that. <coughs> concatenate an extra string on here and say kilograms in it has to be in double quotation marks and then end it with a semicolon okay and then um, go back to your form double click on second button and then type in the following code very similar to the previous code we did and I declare a variable called kilogram and cast that to double again and then this time it's the numeric up down the second one the value of that sense is helping me here. Okay, and that with a semicolon, and then declare another variable, another double called answer two this time, and the calculation for this is going to be um, the variable kilogram times 2.20462 okay and then we want the answer to display in the in label 3's text again Answer to convert that to a string and then just concatenate an extra string on there. Do it again. Um, put in double quotation marks and then space pounds. And then close your quotation marks, put a semicolon. Okay, and then, sorry, concatenate, I have to, forgot to put the plus sign in there. Okay, and then go to your form again, go to the reset button. Um, so basically, we're just going to set everything to zero again. zero and then numeric
break up down to dot value also equals zero and then label three the text for label three we can just reset again to just display answer and then that has to be in double quotation marks again and, and that with the semicolon and then you can save all the changes go back to your form one thing I forgot to tell you guys is on your num numeric tools click on them and then your maximum value is set um, let me just find that it's set to default to 100 so it's not going to go any higher than that so you're going to have to set it to a higher number I'm just going to change it to 5000 and change that one to 5000 also okay and then you can start the, the application Okay, and then basically we can test if it works. Type in 500 pounds, convert to kilograms, that's 226 kilograms. Reset, it resets to zero. Okay, type in 200 kilograms, whatever, convert to pounds, and that is um, 440 pounds. So it seems to be working. Cool. Okay guys, so if you don't want the default icon on your application, then you can go to this website, I'll put a link in the description, and then it has thousands of icons you can download and use on your application, so I'm just going to download the icon, so save, and then once it's downloaded, um, I'll just go to my downloads can copy it, I'll go to my actual application and I always put my stuff in the application, the project file and then paste it in there ok guys, so to change the icon, I've already changed it on here you just um, click on your form, go to properties and then on icon click on the dots and then you go where you've saved your 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 icon basically click on it and then just so open and then it will change your icon to change the actual icon of the application you have to right click on your form in the properties here and then go to properties and then let me just close that a bit and then right here it says icon default icon then click over here and then I'll go to where I saved my icon go to there choose that and then your application will your icon will actually look like that you can save everything now to finish to finish off we can just change this to the release version and then start again and then basically that's your application okay thanks for watching guys we'll do more videos soon and thanks for the support thank you